Hi everyone, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today is finally the day I am uploading my January empties video. Ah, oh, I know, it is the middle of February and I still haven't gotten this video up yet. Well, it's going to be up today. I'm sorry for the delay. The Patriots won the Super Bowl, the New England Patriots football team, you know, they won the Super Bowl and the parade happened to fall on a Tuesday, which is the day that I always film and upload. So I apologize, I did not get a video up last week, but there will be a few videos up this week, so you can count on that. So my first empties of January was this Istanbul candle from Bath and Body Works. It smelt really different from any other candle I've ever had. It really does smell like something foreign. I don't really know how to describe this. It smells like a strong fragrance that someone from the Middle East would wear and I'm saying this because I do work in the perfume industry and there's something about a very strong amber scent that a lot of um, Middle Eastern people love to wear so I decided to pick up this candle from Bath and Body Works about a year ago and I finally finished it today because if you know me you know that I'm always lighting new candles um, I no longer buy my candles from Bath & Body Works because I don't want to support the company itself even though some of their candles are vegan, um, Bath & Body Works does test on animals. So because of that, I would rather buy my candles from Yankee Candle. This was very different, probably the most unique candle I have ever purchased and used. Um, I definitely liked it more when I first bought it than I do now. My mom like walked into my room and she's like, what is that smell? And she like hated it because it's an extremely strong candle. My next empties of the month is this, um, I actually have two deodorants empty in January. Um, this is the Tom's Natural Odor Protection Long Lasting Deodorant in the scent Wild Lavender. Now while I did love the scent of this, um, it is a cruelty-free and vegan deodorant. It was my first cruelty-free deodorant I ever purchased. And I um, actually had stopped using it for a few months because it just doesn't work. Like, it just doesn't do its job. It smells good for about the first hour you're wearing it. And then two hours after that, you can't smell anything and you start to smell like body odor. Um, especially if you work and you're lifting a lot like I am and you're being very active. It's not a great deodorant, I must say. And my second deodorant empties of January was this La Vanilla deodorant. It's in the scent Vanilla Breeze. It looks like this. And this deodorant is like my favorite deodorant of all time. It is so good. I already repurchased. I think they retail at like $25 or something. They're very expensive deodorants. They are cruelty free and vegan, but I'm telling you right now they're so worth it. The scent is absolutely incredible. It's so fresh smelling with a little hint of vanilla and it lasts all day long. It lasts like any other regular deodorant would with all those gross chemicals in it. This is natural. It lasts. It smells amazing. And it's perfect for someone who is an athlete or something like that because even the traditional deodorants that I used to use, like Lady Speed Stick and their sport collection that I used to use, they, this lasts just as long as that, and the Lady Speed Sticks have so many awful, harmful chemicals, and this one doesn't, and it works the same. I would recommend getting the um, Sport Lux one, definitely, because the plain vanilla one works, but I wouldn't recommend that for like a day when you're going to be running or going to the gym or a long day at work. I would 
only wear this Sportlux and I will only wear the Sportlux from now on. My next empties was this Kiss My Face Pure Olive Oil Soap. Um, clearly you can see that I repurchased another one. I love it so, so much. It's just very moisturizing. I've never used it on my face. I must say I wouldn't use it on your face. Uh, my cousin did and she had the worst breakout ever from it. So I, this is not, I don't think this is ever meant to be on the face. I think this is just a body soap, like a Dove soap that you would use all over your body. You would use it for shaving, stuff like that. I don't use a shaving cream. I use a soap. And this olive oil soap is amazing. I purchased it from Whole Foods. And yeah, it's just really good. It's non-GMO, so you know it's 100% natural. Um, the ingredients in it are saponified olive oil, water, and sea salt. That's it. That is it. And it says, our recipe, no fragrance, no phthalates, no phthalates. I don't really know how you pronounce that. I just know that they're really bad and they're in almost every single body product out there, including shampoo and conditioner, and they're just known to cause cancer. So there's none of that in there. There's no artificial color, no animal ingredients, and not tested on animals. Yes. So highly recommend this brand. My fifth empties of January is this um, Lush shampoo which I swear by people ask me why my hair is so shiny. That's probably one of my most asked questions out there along with my eyelashes and my teeth. Um, yeah, this I swear by, this is the only thing that I use in my hair. It's just a, let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. This is their patchouli shampoo bar. It looks like this and there's like little natural leaves in it and everything. Um, I just finished one up. Clearly I had opened another one and started using it. They are like $12 each, so that's not that bad because your typical shampoo is about around there anyways. And I have to say, they last for a very long time, so I think it's totally worth the money. In general, it works better than any other shampoo I've ever used in my life. Look at how shiny my hair is. like. Let's just appreciate the shine. This is on a daily basis. Whenever I use this shampoo, my hair just looks like this. But I must say, it's not just the shampoo that's doing this to my hair. My hair never, ever used to be this shiny. The true cause of why my hair is so shiny is because of my diet. Yes. My vegan diet. <laughs> my vegan diet is the cause of my shiny hair and the shampoo just makes it a thousand times more noticeable. Yeah, so when you're on a vegan diet, you're eating vegetables, fruits, grains, legumes, and that's pretty much it. Nuts, if you want some healthy fat. Um, seeds, things like that. And I don't think people really understand how many options you have when you're on a vegan diet. You have just as many options when you're on a vegan diet than you do on just a traditional American diet or any other diet around the world. You can literally make any plate vegan any plate vegan and that is something that a lot of people do not understand and I just want to make that very very clear the only difference is that you are going to be so much healthier overall your entire body is going to shine you're going to have this natural glow about you when you start eating a vegan diet predominantly high carb low fat which means very low, if any, amount of oil. I'll go into this in a different video um, in depth because it's very, very in depth. Um, but pretty much I don't really eat any oil, very rarely, which is when I go out to eat. I will never say no. So I guess you can see that I'm not 100% against it. 
I just, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying health-wise to be the best that you possibly can be, um, cutting out oil is a definite. So I don't cook with any oil whatsoever. I don't bake with any oil. There are so many substitutes that do the same thing oil can do, and one of them being water, believe it or not, water. Instead of sauteing your vegetables and oil, saute them in water, and they will come out the same. I promise you the consistency will be the same. Just add seasonings after that, and you're all set. <laughs> So I think the fact that I do not consume any oil anymore, I'm eating a pre predominantly high-carb, low-fat diet, meaning I'm eating a lot of starches like potatoes, and I'm eating a lot of high-carb foods, and I'm consuming little to no fat in my diet. Very, very little. So yes, that is what is making my hair shine so much. It is my diet, it's what I'm eating. If you really want to know more about it, directly ask me. I kinda have to talk a little bit quieter just because my camera died halfway through this video and now it's almost 11 p.m. and everyone in my house is sleeping. So, I'm gonna tone it down a notch. But if you have any questions about veganism or anything, about if you want to know more about my hair, about my shampoo, about anything, just please ask me directly. I have no problem. In fact, I would love for you to come ask me questions on any of my social media pages, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Um, or if you have my phone number personally, message me or call me. I have no problem. In fact, I, I would be more than honored to. Um, so yeah, feel free. Um, yeah, so that was my favorite shampoo. <laughs> my sixth January empties is this, ta-da, you've seen it before and I'm sure you're going to see it again, this Yes Tea Carrots Nourishing Fragrance Free Facial Cleanser. It is my favorite cleanser of all time. I've given it to some of my family members and some of my friends and they are now swearing by it so if that says anything to you it is incredible absolutely incredible it's natural it has no scent to it except for that just fresh like clean cream scent that a cream would give off with no fragrance in it <laughs> if you have dry skin oily skin normal combination doesn't matter for all skin types, this is absolutely amazing, and I would highly recommend you guys check it out. My next empties, you guys have seen this before also. My favorite concealer of all time, this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Um, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. It's what I'm wearing on my face right now. Um, granted, I have been wearing my makeup like all day today, so it's probably not up to par or how it usually looks which is fine because this is not a makeup tutorial um, but yeah I've probably gone through at least six of these in my lifetime so far. I think you can get this for $28 at Sephora. My next empties which I will never repurchase and I'm so happy that it's finally gone this Hula Benefit bronzer. Um, it is not cruelty free or vegan which is why I'm so happy it's done. I cannot wait until my entire makeup collection is cruelty free and vegan. Um, clearly I used literally all of it. It was a good bronzer but I have cruelty free ones and vegan ones that I like way better than this. So would I recommend this? Probably not because there's brands like Too Faced out there, Wet n Wild for two dollars that are way better than this in my opinion um and also the butter bronzer by physicians formula i like way better than this too so yeah i would not recommend this at all my last empties of january is this derma e hydrating night cream now this stuff was absolutely incredible it comes like this comes with a little top um which just keeps it a little more fresh, so I always keep those. I've already repurchased and I've already been using. I use this every single night after I wash my face, after I wash 
my makeup off, after I do my skin routine, if I do any face mask, anything like that, if I want to use my Vanity Planet rotating brush to exfoliate, I'll do that. And then the last step is this night cream, always. It is so incredible, guys. Um, especially for dry skin because it's so moisturizing but I think this would be good for any skin type. I actually have a little booklet here and I'm just going to read it real quick to you just so you know. Um, it's paraben free, gluten free, GMO free, dye free, petrol petroleum free, phthalate free, the same thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, in the deodorant, it's free of that chemical that causes cancer. It's 100% vegan and eco-friendly and cruelty-free. And this goes for not just this product by Derma E, but all Derma E products. They're all 100% vegan and eco-friendly, cruelty-free, uh, gluten-free, and GMO-free, paraben-free. It's just like incredible and they all come in this little booklet and you know where each thing comes from proof of performance everything like that they have different skin lines for oily for sun and environmental damage for multiple signs of aging uh, for loss of firmness for dry skin so this is in the, their dry skin line um, which is what I have <laughs> especially right now. It's so bad right now in the winter. So Derma E, I got it from Target. I think this is like $22, but oh my god, it is so worth it. And the fact that everything from their line is vegan is so amazing and just makes me in, in natural. Like, this would be good for anyone. Everyone should be using natural skincare. Makeup is one thing, but skincare is so important. It, your number one priority should not be makeup, it should be skincare. Um, because your makeup will never look good if your skin doesn't look good. And I always make sure that I use things without fragrance in them, and I use things that are 100% natural. Um, I don't use any high-end brand, like um, uh, Dior or Chanel or any of that crap, because those are so so bad for your skin yet they're priced like they'd be the best thing for your skin no don't don't ever fall into um thinking that the higher the price the better the product absolutely not when it comes to skincare it's all about a brand name um you're just paying for the brand when it comes to that makeup might be good even though even then i would say high-end cosmetics are not good compared to a lot of um, like mid-range cosmetics or drugstore even. Um, most luxury brands are not good. So yeah, that concludes my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry it got up so late once again. I'll try to make February's empties right on the month of March. March 1st. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. Once again, I love you guys so so much and I know some of you want me to do the question and answer videos and I will do that eventually. I feel like I'm not at that point where I can just pull out a bunch of questions and answer them because not a lot of people have asked me enough for a full video. Um, but I would love to do that just so some of you can get to know me. So if you guys could send me like questions on like social media or in the comments down below, if you can ask me like questions that you kind of want me to answer in a future question and answer get to know me video, please let me know. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.